On to the final stage between Harad and Kadia. A short special of 167 kilometers, followed by the 13 kilometer Kadia Grand Prix, and then on to the finishers' podium. And so to the 12th and final outing of Dakar 2020, a day of celebration for those who have conquered the world's toughest rally. Before getting to the big guns, let's have a look at the other categories. Yama Betri, who finished as the top rookie ahead of Yamaha's Jamie Meccani, the four-time Spanish Enduro champion, 14th for the FN Speed Team. Korean star Myungul Ryu was fifth best among the first-timers. Manny Gienes won the original by Motul category. The Romanian, who's been competing in the Dakar since 07, adding to his wins in the marathon class in 2011 and 15. Leia Sands' perfect Dakar record continues. 10 participations, 10 finishes, 10 victories in the women's category. The Spaniard in a league of her own, some 10 hours clear of the second best woman, Miriam Pohl. What a Dakar it's been for Nacho Corneco. After coming 10th and 8th in the last two editions, the 25-year-old was 4th this year. He even rounded out a sensational rally for Honda by taking the stage 12 win. Well worth a wheelie. KTM's astonishing 18-year winning streak has come to an end, but they snatched third place through Toby Price. In six participations, the Aussie's been on the podium five times. A best ever Dakar result for Pablo Quintanilla. Despite spending seven months in rehab after his double ankle fracture last year, the Chilean secured the runner-up spot. But in truth, there was only one man who looked like winning this year's rally. Ricky Brabeck finally ending the long wait for Honda, claiming their first victory in the bike since 1989, two years before he was born. He's also the first American to triumph on the Dakar. That's how you do it. At the end, we put the pieces to the puzzle together. It's, uh, it's quite an accomplishment for America, for Honda, for the whole entire team. I was getting chills like the last 30 kilometers, just uh, the bike was was working really good and I was, I'm really happy, really happy. Brabeck a deserved winner after controlling the rally almost from start to finish and Honda celebrating their sixth Dakar victory. Rabek finally completing the Dakar after three consecutive abandons and in some style. In the quads, the returning Ignacio Casale held on to clinch overall victory. The Chilean, who won four stages this year, securing his third crown in the category after 2014 and 2018.